The Fit Objects to Path extension for Corel Draw lets you fit any type and number of objects to a path of your choice. Smart distribution and rotation settings help to customize the placement of objects on the path. Now for a number of versions we've been able to fit text to a path as well as apply a blend to a path. If you're not sure how to do either of these I'll show you now. I'm going to start with fit text to path and there's a number of ways you can accomplish this. I can either go to the text menu and select fit text to path or I can right click and drag on this piece of text let the mouse button go and I'm going to select fit text to path. Now creating a blend is where we can morph from one object to another. In this example I've got a beginning and an ending object. I'll select my first object, drag to the second object and make the blend from one object to the next. Now from the interactive property bar I want to put this on the path so I'll select my tool, select new path, and then click on the path. And that's really all there is to it. Now let's take a look at the extension called Fit Objects to Path. How it differs is that it allows you to not only fit a single object but multiple objects and there are a number of different settings available. Here we have a clock face. And look how easy it is I can place the minute marks and the hour marks around the perimeter of the clock face. I'll select my hour. I'll go to my Arrange menu. Now I'm using the classic workspace. If you're using the default workspace for CorelDRAW X8, then it's going to be the Objects menu. I'm going to go down to Fit Objects to Path. In my Docker, I want to set this to 11. I'll treat it as contiguous. I'm also going to group all objects together. I want it to follow the path. And under Object Position, for origin, I want to make sure I have top selected. Select my path with the shift key held down and then click apply. Now let's go ahead and add the minutes. I'll select my object. I'm going to change this to 59. Hold the shift key down. I'll select my path again and then click apply. As you can see, very quick and very easy, I've been able to create a clock face using the fit objects to path extension. Now we're going to take a look at something a little bit different. Here I have a simple object, multiple colored, a little paper cutout doll. For this one, I want to make sure I have top selected. I'm going to set my duplicates down to 16 and I want to make sure she follows the path. So again, hold the shift key down, I'll select the path, and then simply click apply. Now of course I can delete this path if I want to as well, simply by selecting it and then hitting the delete key. So it's a great way to create a nice little design. On this next one, I'm going to marquee select these elements. In my fit objects to path, for duplicates I want to use 25. You'll notice under Object Positioning, there's a number of different options that I have here. I'm just going to leave it to Selection Order. Distribution, I want Uniform Object Spacing. For Origin, I want it Top. I want it to follow the path as well. And select my path and simply click Apply. Now in this last one, I want to create a pattern that will look like a rhinestone pattern. So what I've done is we've created a design and I've combined these separate paths together as one. So I'm going to grab my first rhinestone, hold the shift key down, I'll select my yellow path, and now for number of duplicates I'm going to set this to 60, and the origin I want to set to center, and I'll click apply. I'll grab the next one down, Hold the shift key down, I'm going to select my red path. And for this one, I'm going to change my duplicates to 125. Keep the settings the same, and I'm going to click apply to this. And the final one is this polygon. Now, because it's a polygon, what I'm going to do is first off, I'm going to set my duplicates to 250. 
And under Modify Rotation, what I want to do is I want to do a progressive rotation. It's going to start at 0, 0, and it's going to do a spin angle of 360 degrees. Now, revolutions will allow me to dictate how many revolutions those objects do on the path. And I'll zoom in once we've done this. So I'm going to select the path now, hold the Shift key down, I'll select my blue path, and simply click Apply. Very quick, it's going to add these rhinestones. Now let me just zoom into this area here. And you'll notice that the stones start off in a position and they gradually rotate and they're rotating uh, clockwise as we go through this pattern. Let me just zoom back out a bit. Okay, so we've created a clock face. We've created a whimsical design with a paper doll, hung the crisp lights, and effortlessly created a rhinestone design. As you can see, with the fit objects to path, it can allow very easily put single or multiple objects on almost any path or multiple paths. That brings us to the end of this short tutorial. If you found this tutorial on YouTube while searching for training content, be sure to head on over to the Discovery Center at learn.corel.com for more equally informative videos. <laughs>